This is kind of weird. Have we actually gone to Buster yet today? I don't actually remember a match on Buster. I, actually, there might have been one. But it was either just banned or not looked at at all. Iceman going for the Mechanica here now, which is... I mean, it's a fairly nice choice against R Riffa's set here, because Riffa doesn't really have uh, all too many arms that deal with armor for pretty well, only having uh, the slam, but mainly using that as like more of a utility thing instead of a full damage thing, mainly relying on the Tri Blast and the Ice Dragon here for uh, the bigger damage hits. So, playing an armor character against this Lota is something that Iceman can get away with, especially using that nice big uh, Ram Ram to cancel out a lot of the Tri Blasts, and goes for the close range rush in the hot pocket, gets a lot of damage onto Riffa. Now Riffa has the rush, but is Riffa gonna have to gonna use that? Actually gets a nice 1-2 with the Tri Blast and another 1-2, and that... I, I mean... It's an armor character, right? So it's not going to deal as much damage, but death by a thousand cuts is still death by a thousand cuts. Death by a thousand health, I guess. Um, so Riffa is still managing to lead off the round, gets a pretty nice freeze to deal some full damage, and now has the rush, catches Iceman on the approach, and knocks Iceman down to... What? Like, it, it's 22 seconds, Riffa, calm down. Uh, that just happened. So yeah, I mean, Iceman is Mechanica, being able to tank a lot more hits, but that doesn't help if the hits just keep coming and coming and coming, and Riffa just keeps aiming them really well, and getting the consistent freezes and stuff. Uh, we are going to go to Sparring Ring for game two. I spend maybe gonna be trying to change things and move uh, Riffa to a bit more of a close quarter stage. Iceman has also switched to the Ribbon Girl here. So we are gonna be seeing... Actually, no, this is not Iceman's Ribbon Bomber set. It is going to be an actual ice set. <laughs> I guess uh, Iceman's signature uh, Ribbon Girl set here with the Tri Blast, with the Nade, and the Seeky. That is not going to work against a more mobile character like Dinjara, so Iceman has gone for the freeze option here and a bunch more wider hitboxes in exchange for that uh, explosiveness of the triple explosion set. Riffa still coming out on top at the start of this round, does get the rush first, but Iceman equalizing things up a little bit there with a nice 1-2 with that charge tribal. <clears throat> and managing to aim a few more hits in there. And both players do have the rush, rushes now. Trying to just find that opportunity. <clears throat> Getting simultaneous hits and they're not being able to convert that into anything. There's a tri blast hit, hit from Ruffa there. Aimed a bit downwards so it did knock Iceman a bit upwards. But that would have been a very risky confirm, especially online. Um, Iceman does go for the rush first, get off the side dash, does not get the full hit in there because Glove Rush is a bit farther away, but that is enough to knock Riffa down into range of one more punch. Whew. <clears throat> we have seen Riffa struggle on close range with that Ice Dragon there. Now Riffa is switching back again to... Uh, to the um, Slamamander, like he did against uh, against Shady. Does have the rush ready, but that close range rush is not going to work against uh, Ribbon Girl's side jumps. <clears throat> Riffa may be better off uh, going for one of those awesome wind confirms that we saw earlier, but maybe Iceman's movements aren't allowing Riffa the luxury of trying to fish for one of those. Iceman getting a really nice cancel onto uh, 
Uh, I mean, we're forgetting a very nice cancel onto Ice Man's Rush, uh, there. Riffa having the rush now does manage to um, get get a hit in there, but that tri blast was extended, so there was no opportunity to turn that into a rush confirm. Riffa at critical health now, though, but Yeta at rush range, so this could still turn out either way. And the tri blast rush just catching onto onto Ice Man there. Um, the initial uh, slam missing, but the last bit of slam rush did connect, and Riffa equalized the rounds 1 1 here. And now we are going to be seeing uh, Iceman stay with the same set, Riffa staying with the same set too. Iceman does have the, the rush advantage here, is go probably going to be fishing for a freeze or a stun confirm to take that. Same thing with Riffa. Riffa also has the rush now, too. Iceman does have the weight advantage here in the case of, of a rush trade. Not being able to convert anything off that stun because it did activate uh, Riffa's um, tri-blast explosion and that self-detonated, too. <clears throat> I completely missed this, but uh, Riffa did get enough pokes on here to bring Iceman to rush range. Iceman had to use his rush though and took a bunch of damage off of Riffa and Riffa catches Iceman's last jumps here with that explosive tri-blast rush oh uh, oh I, I just realized I forgot to switch scenes there too whoops um two games for Riffa and one more will result in Riffa resetting the bracket against Iceman. Ugh. Same bans from Riffa, same pick from Iceman, and it's the run back to sparring. And it seems like both players also have the same characters. Obviously, not thinking that um, the character pick here was at any fault that it is still going to be Iceman's best bet here against Riffa. Both players actually going for a pr pretty interesting arm switch here. Uh, Riffa just uh, ditching the Tri-Blast here completely, going for the Slam Dragon. And Iceman dropping the Chilla, going for the Coolerang here to catch uh, Riffa's side movements a bit more. Uh, this is going to be... A bit tricky for both players. They are both going to be changing their uh, hitting patterns here, so let's see who can adapt better. Riffa does go for the rush first, D gets a nice uh, slam rush onto Iceman's uh, side, does not um, get the uh, Ice Dragon follow up here, and Iceman does go for in for the close range. Rush, but that misses, and after the teleport, Riffa does get the nice rush to cancel out the rest of the get the get the grab to cancel out the rest of that rush. Uh, both players getting frozen at the same time here, but uh, Riffa managing to uh, uh, snipe uh, Iceman from that distance, and one more uh, Ice Dragon into Yeta stash. Ah, I keep saying Yeta because of the staying uh, Ribbon Girl color. It's Iceman. Get gets uh, one one more uh, hit into Iceman's dash there to take round one and leads off round two with a really nice uh, tri, tri blast ice dragon rush and that that is another one of those uh, uncharged tri blast into uncharged dragon one twos now Riffa does have the freeze but Yeta does escape it now Yeta has the freeze and manages to uh, Iceman has the freeze and manages to get the grab off it. I'm sorry, it's been two hours. Anyways, uh, Riffa does uh, pull the trigger on that rush first, and Riffa is going to be resetting the bracket against Iceman.
So we are going to be resetting the bracket. And we are going to go to uh, another, another uh, three matches here. Okay, DNA is banned, uh, Sparring is banned, Mausoleum is banned, and Riffa chooses to go for uh, Buster again. Actually, we are seeing exactly what we saw in the first half of this Grand Finals, with uh, Buster being chosen by both players by default. And Iceman is going to go back to that Min-Min. Actually, a bit more of a different min min set here <clears throat> from what Iceman usually has. Think, probably thinking he's got to have some sort of adaptation to uh, match up against Riffa. Going for that popper on the dragon arm, uh, which is going to, uh, it, if Iceman does manage to charge up here, um, that is going to cover so much space and it's going to be so hard to block from Riffa's set, and actually going for an Ice Dragon of his own here, too. So it, it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Iceman did start on the uh, short end of Buster Beach, though, so did not manage to get a chance to hop back and charge up a uh, Dragon Arm early. And the Dragon Arm still remains uncharged. Riffa keeping their cor correct distance against the Spin Man set. S staying just in range to keep harassing Min Min to keep her from getting the dragon arm up, but also far enough so that one of those stray poppers and one of those uh, cl quick close range jump grabs is not going to be catching Riff anytime soon. Iceman, wow, okay. Uh, sorry, what what was that no noise? Um, Riffa hopping in double dashing into that dragon to cancel it and goes for the unexpected grab to end round one. Seriously, what was that wow? Um, both players having the rush here to uh, start off round two. Iceman switching over to the Chilla here uh, to have a bit more of a weight advantage to try to punch through that tri-blast. Um, it doesn't seem to be working now though. Iceman going in for the Quick rush off the jump to uh, try to just get Rufa off him he there and to get an opportunity to get that dragon arm up. Does get a nice one two onto Rufa. I was going to say uh, that Rufa was going to have a fairly decent shot at uh, getting that dragon arm off of Iceman, but. Um okay, where are we at? Um, Rufa is at the last sliver of health. They're actually choosing to expend the rush instead of saving it for a possible round three. Trying to end things now. Gets a bunch of good hits onto Iceman, but Iceman does have the rush ready to maybe try to take it back, but it looks like Iceman is trying to save it for a round three too. DBZ moment here with both players getting hit onto each other, but the tri-blast poke is not strong enough. Iceman lives round two with a sliver. And now we're going to go to round three here. Iceman getting a nice early freeze, allowing him to jump in up close and, and to get that glove rush. And gets the charge out off of that too. Now Riffa has the rush, and Riffa's going to be trying to get, get an opportunity to use that. But does get frozen on the way to Iceman. Uh... But does manage to get the rush in the end and to get the knockdown in the end. Now Iceman does not have the dragon arm anymore. Does not have that uh, huge girth and that perma freeze on that Chilla. And I, uh, Riffa getting the freeze onto Iceman there instead. Now Iceman does have the rush. Riffa almost has the rush. And Riffa just trying to play a bit out of range here. To keep Iceman from getting any follow ups from those hits. There's the freeze. Ice Riffa preemptively rushing as Iceman uh, rushes in response. 
but Rifa just managing to jump away and gets the correct angle for that trap blast to go through. Rifa taking the first round of this reset very closely, but very deservedly. Why do I keep forgetting to change the loadout? I'm sorry, guys. Uh, okay, um, DNA and Scrap are being banned again from Riffa, and let me guess what Iceman is going to go for next. It's going to be Temple, it's not going to be Sparring Ring. So I, I guess uh, this might indicate that Iceman does not have uh, one of those uh, switches planned to uh, the Ribbon Girl like we saw in the previous games. Instead, just sticking with that Min Min, sticking with uh, this modified Iceman set, going for the Chilla instead of the Sparky here, but actually putting the uh, Chakram back here instead of um, going for the Popper again. Iceman being on the approach early on in the game and uh, And, and does uh, get a nice chak Chakram hit in there to uh, get that Dragon Arm up. Gets another Chakram hit in there, but Riffa was behind the pillar, so that didn't lead to any follow-ups. <clears throat> now Riffa is pushing uh, the advantage a bit more. Does get a nice one-two off that arm break. Both players do have the rush now, so Iceman is going to be uh, moving and a bit closer to try to find the opportunity. Gets the freeze, tries to go for the grab, but Riffa calls it out and goes for the 320 rush. Now Iceman does have the rush and is probably going to try to find either a freeze or a stun combo into it. But Riffa does get the 1-2 to put Iceman on the magic pixel and just approaches real close to get the perfect opportunity to um, get the tri blast in there. Now switching to the non tri blast set, while uh, Iceman switches off the Chilla here to uh, the Ice Dragon. Riffa does uh, win the Ice Dragon War here, uh, but Iceman does call out the approach and grabs that. Now Iceman does have the rush and also has the Chakram here. Iceman might be wise to save the rush here until uh, after a potential knockdown situation happens from Rifa, or if Rifa uses the rush himself to uh, knock down Iceman, because that dragon arm is so valuable here. That uh, increased growth for Chakram. Iceman getting a, a lot better of pokes here now, but Rifa does get that high angled Ice Dragon to knock down Iceman's dragon arm. <clears throat> Let's see if Iceman can get the last remaining pokes. No, that is a 1-2 from Riffa to knock Iceman back further into the corner to get attack a bit more damage off of that on there. Riffa managing to shield those uh, incoming hits in time. Both dragons fire off, but Riffa's is more accurate and Riffa does get the knockdown again. This actually does put Iceman into rush range, but that rush is so difficult to hit from Riffa's side. And, and there we see Iceman's uh, and Riffa both expanding their rushes and not really getting anything from it. This is so close, but Iceman does have the bare health lead. Riffa does get one poke and one more. Riffa clutches, clutches it out. Dang. Okay. Riffa. 5-0 so far in this Grand Finals reset. One more game, we'll take it. But, um... Okay, same band, same stage. They ready up way too fast. Um... And same characters too, same loadout, I believe. Actually, no. A little bit of an adaptation here from Iceman's side. That is going to be the Chakram substituted out for the Tribal. And Iceman going to be starting with that Minbolt, as it's affectionately known, in the left arm. 
gonna try to get that permanently charged. And does manage to um, zone Riff away far enough to uh, run away and charge up. Now that permanently charged uh, Triblast is going to cover so much space. <clears throat> it's gonna be so difficult for uh, Riffa to dodge with the two arms that he does have. But Riffa knocks down the uh, the dragon arm and does put stay fairly close to Ice Band. This is not where uh, Ice Band wants to be with that dragon that wants to stay out of far range. Both players do have the rush now. Riffa comes out on top by waiting for Iceman to jump, then jumping himself to the side to get that uh, travel rush confirmed. So, so Ice uh, Riffa does take the health lead there. Gets one more nice uh, slam hit to put uh, Iceman in one hit range and one more try a blast hit on the approach. We'll take the round. Riffa is at grand finals point here. Iceman needs to take this back. Iceman going for the chilla on the dragon arm here. Trying to go for more weight again. Riffa sticking with the, the dragon list set. <clears throat> and both players do have the rush now. Could use it. Iceman freezing Riffa, but because of that rush, not uh, going for any any more ambitious follow-ups there. And Iceman going for the rush first. P possibly anticipating Riffa's counter rush because of that uh, small jump dash. And Riffa actually catching out uh, Iceman's jump dash there uh, to take that um, rush. Now Iceman did get a nice uh, I don't, I don't know if that was a true confirm, but it was a grab off of a punch, and gets a nice uh, self detonation hit and onto to Riffa to possibly take things back, but Riffa just dodging all all of this. Now Iceman does have the rush and is going to go into close range. Is going to actually take 45 damage off of Riffa, but Riffa goes away in time. Riffa tries to approach for that rush. But Iceman gets the grab. That was super close. Iceman showing signs of life here and is going to try to turn things back, but Riffa has switched back to the Ice Dragon. And this is not uh, this is not sparring ring. This is a wide stage where the Ice Dragon can actually work. Riffa going for the early rush activation there, but Iceman it is in a, was in a position where he could safely shield. Now Iceman does not have the dragon arm and it is still a bit away from that rush so is going to be a bit more on the approach <clears throat> here now though. But Riffa calls that out and Riffa gets the rush first and Riffa gets a full 370 ending that rush with that Triblast explosion. There's one more hit that uh, Riffa needs. Iceman only just now taking the first bit of uh, putting a dent into Riffa's health bar, but it's not enough. Riffa switching back to the Ice Dragon and using it expertly. And we are have business as usual. Riffa takes the the sixteenth European Scrap Star series, and that ends the stream for uh, tonight. Everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, this weekend, we've got Smash and Splash 5. It's going to be great. It's going to be, I mean, <laughs> the arms major everybody's been looking forward to. I think there are, there are roughly 50 people registered. I don't know how many of them are going to be playing since I do remember a bunch of people registered and didn't show up last time for Smash and Splash 4. But... We have a lot of people from the community there, so definitely t tune in for that stream. I know the guys at STL Arms are going to put up a high-quality stream for everybody to enjoy.